I'm so sorry to be filming at work. I'm so excited. This cannot wait till I get home. I just got my Disney Villains Tarot deck. Finally, after months of waiting and pushbacks and crap, it's here. It is beautiful purple and green. I just love that combination together. There is the villains on the front. And then a sample of the cards in the back. It is a liftoff lid. Oh, by the way, this is by Insight Editions. So I'm not sure if the Disney is going to make this easier to find or not. That is the lid. Reminds me of the old style absinthe bottles or the velvet wallpapers. Here is your guidebook. It is a little black book. It says Villains Tarot Deck Guidebook. He's on the back. And then inside it tells you how to understand your deck, the meanings for all the cards, how to care for your deck, preparing to read tarot, and then a couple spreads. Uh, introduction. Has some pictures of the cards there to explain. For the major arcana, you get a page for the card and a page for the meanings. But for the minor arcana, it's kind of all squeezed in one. And then it's the king, queen, knight, page, then ace, two, three, four. It's kind of a little different way of laying it out. Um, but it still works. And as far as the readings, there's your caring for your deck. And it does have a couple new different spreads, like the poisoned apple spread. I'm not gonna give away the rest, save you guys some surprises. Inside the box is now purple with green. And the purple again brings to mind that velvet wallpaper that they would have in the Victorian era, for me anyway. That's the back of the cards. Since we are at work, I'm going to try and keep this a little quicker for you guys. Unless it is different from Rider Waite Smith, I am not going to um, say the names. This is based off Rider Waite Smith and would be okay to give to a beginner, especially somebody younger who maybe um, Disney would speak to better. I have found that when the cards are something you enjoy, it helps get the meanings in, in a different way. I found that out with my Game of Thrones. The lovers have become true love in this. This was so worth the wait. The Wheel of Fortune is Aurora's spinning wheel. I love it. The Hanged Man. <laughs> I love it. This was so worth the wait. <gasps> Zeus's death. Oh my god, yes. This, yes. Laura's Tower for the Tower. Oh, yes. They saw every opportunity and took it. Except the mirror for the star. I don't like that. That doesn't fit. <laughs> Some of you can't help but laugh at. Like this. <laughs> this is perfect. Don't tell me otherwise. It's perfect. She's judgment. And as the book suggests, it goes weird because here's the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Knight, <laughs> the Page, and then we get into the Ace. So I am going to fix that because I do not like that. Um, I will be laying those out in order. Give me one second. Not that it matters because I'm going to shuffle them up anyway, but it matters to me. I don't, I don't get it. Ace. 
to They made these a little hard to grasp, so that does take a little longer, sorry. I like how the wands is actually got wands in it. I was worried it would just be focused on the villains and just that would be it. There's the nine and the ten. All right. Now that I know how I'm going to do these, I'll lay them down differently this time. Oh, I was wondering if she would make it. Ace of Coins. So coins do replace pentacles in this deck, which that's easy enough to keep track of, even for a beginner. Coins, pentacles. Even reading my regular cards, I will sometimes slip up and call coins, pentacles, and pentacles, coins. Every time I see Lion King, the song starts playing in my head. Not gonna lie, I'm a total child and a total nerd. I did forget to do the card flick for you guys, but the card stack on this is incredible. Let me pull this, when I pull this one and show you the king. A nice flimsy that doesn't hold the bend that I love. I think she'd show up soon enough. I'm not going to pretend I recognize them all, but the ones I recognize, they make me happy. And we are now into swords in case you didn't notice. I like that. This is definitely going to be an easy deck to read, even for a beginner. Rider Waite Smith based enough to understand, even with the different imagery. Especially if you have somebody that you can speak to who can help you. Another reader or somebody who is familiar with cards at least can help you through this very easily. I also like the mix of pip and illustrations. I like the semi-pip decks. At least that's what I call them. Now we are at cups, which means this is going to be the last suit. All in all, I think it was worth the wait. Especially if you're a Disney fan. You don't even have to like the bad guys to like this deck. That's the Ace of Cups, isn't that pretty? All in all, I recommend this. I don't recommend every deck, but a lot of them. I'm not gonna lie. And if you're watching and haven't already, do click that subscription button and ding the bell so that you'll be notified for my next post. And my next live, um, I go live almost every day as possible. I try to get back to twice a day, so keep an eye on that. Check the description box. There's hella information, including how to join the membership and get free readings. And your natal chart, how to get your own natal chart done for free. I hate to wrap this up so soon and sudden, but I am at work. I did steal the time to do this. Definitely worth it for you guys to get a first peek 
I hope y'all enjoyed. If you haven't heard about this deck, I hope you go add it to your wish list or grab it. Definitely worth collecting. Have a good day, guys. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.